Hey, what's up guys? A topic has been keeping me uh, curious all the time for a very, very long time. And it was why were animals so much stronger? Why are apes, for example, so much stronger than humans? Why is that? They don't train, they, go, they don't go to the gym, they don't work out, they don't make exercises, they don't do anything. They do only their usual stuff. You know, like climbing on trees, eating bananas and stuff like this. But still, they can, they can really rip your head off with one hit, you know, uh, without, even, uh, without even making so much effort. If you take chimps, for example, they don't have bigger muscles than we do, you know. They, they're, they don't seem stronger than we, we are, but they're a lot stronger. And if you start reading, if you start reading the scientific findings in the recent years, you will be totally confused, you know? So don't do that. I mean, I've been reading them and uh, it's, it's totally confusing. Some of them are saying they're 12 times stronger than humans. Uh, some of them are saying they're eight times stronger than, than humans. Some of them are saying they're uh, um, four times, eight times, 12 times. And then I read a recent study from, from this year. They're saying they're uh, 1.5 times stronger than humans. So you're getting totally confused. But anyway, whoever, whoever is right, I don't, you, don't, you never know which study is right and which is wrong. But whoever is right, um, it, one is sure, they're stronger, they're a lot stronger. Even if it's 1.5 times, even if it's two times stronger, it's, it's still a lot. I mean, like, imagine 50% more strength without doing anything, without even exercising. They can bench press 300 kilos without even exercising. What is that? So it turns out they have uh, more control of their muscle fibers. Uh, there are the new the neurons uh, that are controlling uh, the the behavior of the muscle fibers, you know, of the bundles of the muscle fibers. So more bundles can contract at the same time. That's the key point. More muscle fibers are controlled at the same time. Humans cannot control that um, that bundle like bigger bundles at the same time. They control smaller parts. There is no way for us to activate the muscles completely, you know, um, that keeps us um, keeps us from from getting tired too too soon. But uh, at the same time, uh, we 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 don't have the strength of the of the, of the animals. Uh, so if you're thinking of getting in a fight with a chimp, don't do that. I mean, it's it's not a good idea at all. Um, that will just rip your head off immediately. Uh, so don't mess up with them with a chimp. Um, at the same time, because of this control, we are able to do fine-tuned movements. Like for example, uh, very delicate movements like playing a guitar, uh, typing on a computer, um, you know, doing delicate stuff which um, animals cannot do. Animals will never be able to, uh, to type on a computer with the same precision. Um, they will just hit the keyboard like with the force, but they cannot control every individual fingers very, very, you know, uh, in, a, in a very fine way, you know, in a very delicate way. So that's the thing, you know, it's a matter of control. That's the key point, control of the muscles. Imagine I can control the muscles at one, in one go, all the bundle in one go. But at the same time, because of that activation, they're getting tired a lot sooner than we do. There are their advantages and um, and uh, disadvantages at the same at the same time, but that's the main reason, the type of control of the muscle that that they have. Hope that was useful, and uh, hope you enjoyed it. And see you soon, guys. Subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions.